Hey guys, it's coming in, and here's my review for the latest summer comedy tag. And what tag is essentially about is it basically is based on this true story. Yeah, I can't believe it either, but this is a true story of five friends who basically ever since they were kids, they've been playing a game of tag every day in the month of May. And we cut to many years later, and one character, Jerry, Jeremy Renner's character, he still has yet to be tagged. And when the group finds out that uh, not only is Jerry getting married, but he plans to retire from the game of tag... Uh, uh, after doing so, they basically make a ploy to finally, you know, they basically try to band together to hopefully finally tag him, and that's basically how the rest of the film does play out. So tag in general, I was both really looking forward, but also was on the fence about this movie. I was looking forward to because the trailer actually did look really fun. We had a lot of actors that I very much did enjoy, but this was also a comedy I was very worried could get a little too silly and could get off the rails quite fast, especially with a premise like this. And I was really hoping for the best, and the fact that it was a true story, that did make me think, okay, maybe this will have a little more substance to it. And once again, tag is another really solid comedy. I I don't really know what's happening this year, but this is turning out to be a really good year for comedy films, and Tag is another really good one. So we're just getting into right now, starting off with the cast. And like I said, going in this movie, that was one of the things I actually was very much looking forward to. I think the cast here is honestly really great. You got a lot of really great actors here. Let's first talk about Ed Helms. This is a guy who I know a lot of people are very 50-50 with, myself included. Sometimes I think he's really funny. Then sometimes I think that he can be really over the top and uh, just go into really sort of cringy territory. Thankfully in this one, it's a nice happy medium. There are points where he is very over the top. Uh, but he also is a lot of points the most rational one. He's the guy who he is very determined to take down, um, you know, Jerry, but he also is very much the moral compass because he reminds everyone that, you know, this is the thing that they kind of do to stay together because they've all kind of veered in their own separate directions. And I really did like Ed Helms' character overall. I thought he was honestly really great in this film. I definitely could tell he was having a lot of fun. And there is one direction that he goes in towards the end of this film that I really was not expecting. And it honestly was kind of sad, and I really was not expecting them to go there, but I thought it was honestly really well done, and it's definitely one of the best uh, comedy roles for Helms that I can think of, at least in recent memory, for sure. And then Jake Johnson, this movie I also very much did enjoy. He's definitely a very dumb character. He seems to believe that everything that's happening in the movie or every single thing that Jeremy Renner's character is doing to them isn't actually true. Sometimes he's right, sometimes he's not, but he definitely did have quite a few lines in the movie that definitely did crack me up, and I think he definitely did a really good job. But easily the funniest actor in this movie is Hannibal Burez as uh, the character of, um, of uh, Kevin Sable. He really does an incredible job in this movie. What I love about his character is that it's pretty obvious that most of his dialogue was improvised, and he just does such a great job. Anytime something like really over the top or outrageous has in the movie, he always has some sort of a comeback. He always has something to retort, and I just really love that about his character. His dry wit is really great. I just really loved him in this movie. For me, he easily was a scene stealer, and honestly, all of these guys, I think, worked very well together, and that's something I think really helped to elevate this film overall. And then everyone else that also did a really good job, Jeremy Renner in this movie, uh, of course we haven't seen him in Avengers Infinity War, he's not going to be in the latest Mission Impossible film because of this, and he does a really great job. He really does have some serious comedic chops, and I really did like his character in this movie. Uh, we'll get to some of the things with his character, um, you know, a little bit later, because I do think some stuff he does is a little bit questionable, but I think overall he did a really good job. Uh, Isla Fisher, I have not seen her be this funny in a film in quite a while. I mean, her character, she's so into the game of tag. I mean, you would think that, the that you know, their wives wouldn't be as into it. But no, she is super into it in this movie to the point where she really takes things to the extreme. And I just really loved seeing her get in on the action. It was a lot of fun to watch. Annabelle Wallace is also really good as this reporter sort of character that is doing an article about tag. And the way she fits in the story is really good. Like I said, I think really everyone did a really good job. And that's something this film, I think, really does benefit from as a very surprisingly committed cast here. 
But now let's get to the directing and the writing because going in this film, that's something I was a little bit concerned about as well. Uh, how is this film going to be directed? Was it going to be directed in a way that felt sincere? And I have to say, I think it was actually a really good balance because sure, there are points in this movie where it is absolutely ridiculous and they're not really taking it that seriously. They acknowledge that this is dumb and that this is something that, you know, is a little bit, is very juvenile for men of this age, but they also acknowledge the sentimentality of it, that this is a stable of their childhood and that this kind of keeps that you know, it keeps that more innocent part of their lives alive in them, and I think that directing actually worked very well here. There's something really endearing and heartwarming about this movie, and I couldn't quite put my finger on it until the third act, but I thought the directing was really well done, and I was definitely impressed by it. Uh, the writing in this film, here's where we get to my main complaint with this film. This film is very, very basic, and what I mean by that is that it's a very simple concept. It's literally just these guys getting together to play tag and them wanting to finally tag um, Jerry, and that's really all there is to it. There isn't really much else going on with these characters. There are some little side plots here and there, but other than that, we really don't get into the characters all that much. And through some of the film, while I did enjoy watching them, I did want a little bit more from these characters. Like, what are they really doing in their lives? You know, how have they really been after all these years? We don't really get super into that, but at the same time, I kind of was questioning if that would really deter from some of the comedy, because the comedy that's here is really great. The comedy is very consistent here. I really was laughing a lot, and I was very surprised by how practical a lot of this stuff was. There are points in the film where, I won't lie, I thought Jeremy Renner's character was going a little bit too far, because this is someone who is always one step ahead of them. You know, he has had basically 30 years to, you know, plan everything out, and he's had a lot of time to formulate a plan and know how to take them down. He has so many tactics and things like that, and, uh, you know, there are points where you do think he is going a bit too far. However, at the end of this film, they do actually show the real guys, and... A lot of the things in this film, I thought, oh, no, there's no way that's real. There's no way that actually happened. Yeah, it actually did. It actually did happen in this film, and I was actually quite surprised by it. So, knowing that, uh, you know, seeing Jeremy Renner, the things that he does, as crazy as it is... The idea of it happening is not entirely that much out of the realm of possibility. I think honestly, it could, it very well could have happened, and I think it did. I think, Jer I think, you know, the character Jeremy Renner is playing. I think he was this cunning. I think he was this. Um, you know, I think he was this um, conniving in that way, and I think uh, they did a really good job of accurately portraying that here. In terms of flaws, like I said, sometimes there are points where the humor doesn't fit, the, you know, or doesn't work. There are points where I feel like they did go a bit too over the top with this movie. One thing that Jeremy Renner and his wife does that I just thought took things a little too far. However, it's very much, um, you know, it, it's not something that the film is applauding. This is very much for upon the guys in the film you know they really don't condone it at all so what I liked about this movie is anything crazy that happens the film acknowledges yeah this is ridiculous the film is very self-aware in that way and you know it feels very real in that sense where this isn't one of those comedies where it feels like oh this can't possibly be real like I said this did actually happen I think they did a good job of accurately capturing that that being said, though, Renner is also one of the most enjoyable characters in the film because, like I said, he's always one step ahead of them. Some of the best scenes in the movie are just his inner voiceover. Every time these guys think that they are about to tag him, that they finally have the upper hand, he always pulls through with some kind of tactic, and it really does make the film very engaging and really does uh, kind of engross you in that way. I was very surprised by how into it I really was getting, but you really do want these guys to tag him because he's very despicable in the way and like I said he's always one step ahead of them and they did a really good job with just showing how hard it is to really get this guy it's a ridiculous concept but again they surprisingly really did use it to their fullest potential and I was very surprised with that here my problems with this movie is when the film starts to focus a little bit um, far, you know, a little bit out of its reach. And what I mean by that is that there's a subplot involving Rashida Jones in this movie. She comes back in the film. She is a guest at uh, Jeremy Renner's wedding. And she's also a former uh, love interest for both Jake Johnson and John Hamm. Now, I have no problem with Jake Johnson and Rashida Jones, um 
their relationship. I think it actually makes a, a, a lot of sense for them to have a relationship because of his character. He's, you know, such a low life and he isn't really, doesn't really have much of a direction at all. My problem in the movie is Ham's inclusion in the storyline. I just really didn't believe that these two guys, after everything they've been through, would still be vi fighting over this girl. It just felt a little bit childish and I just don't really think it really fit in there. Again, I understand this film is about embracing your childhood and about you know, holding on to those memories, but that just felt a little bit far-fetched. Where they end up going with it, I was happy about, but I really did not care that much about this subplot. I thought it was just a little bit dumb, and any time they started to go more into it, I really was not that in that. I really kind of lost a little bit focus. It didn't necessarily take me out, but it just really didn't really do much of anything for me, and I think they could have maybe handled it in a way where, like I said, you did not really need John Hamm to be, um you know, to really be involved in this. However, I will say, that being said, all of these guys are great. All of their characters are a lot of fun. They all have some standout moments, and I think they did a really great job with that. Like I said, Berez, you know, Burez, I think, really is the star in terms of comedy. In terms of drama, though, that goes to Ed Helms. There is a late reveal uh, in this movie, in the third act, and they actually give a good reason for why all these guys are coming together to play tag. It's not just because they want to tag Jerry. There actually is something a little bit deeper to it that I was not expecting, and it was kind of sweet where they ended up going with it. I was very surprised, and yes, it does shift a lot, but it didn't feel out of place. The film, like I said, stays grounded in reality enough that it does make sense why this would happen, and it turns out it actually did happen, and I thought it was honestly really heartwarming where they end up going, and again, I can't believe I'm saying this about a comedy about a bunch of grown men playing tag, but yeah, there actually is some really nice heartwarming moments towards the end of this movie, and I really did like that. It's a big tonal shift for sure, but it really does work when you start to realize what was really going on and why all of them actually got together, and I really did enjoy that overall. Uh, so I thought the writing was honestly really great, uh, besides, like I said, that one problem I did have with it. The cinematography I thought was definitely really great here. There are some truly outrageous moments, and the film really does take all of its liberties uh, that it can with the cinematography. They really did go all out. The score is whatever, but the editing. I will say there are some moments where the film does drag a bit, especially in the second act. It was dragging for me a little bit. But that uh, reveal in the third act of the movie, I think, really did turn this film around for the better. And like I said, I was laughing quite a lot. I don't want to... Um you know, undermine that fact, because I was laughing a lot, I was enjoying my time, but that, um, you know, reveal, and towards the end of the movie, elevated the film to another standard, honestly, it really made me, you know, enjoy it a lot more, and it put it on a level of just being a really dumb comedy, to something that was much more of a statement about friendship, and holding on to your glory days, and trying to, like I say, you know, just, when things are really going rough in your life, and things are really going south, to just remember those carefree days of being a child. That's really what this movie is all about. Like I said, this is a really well-done comedy. I don't really know what's happening this year, but we're getting some really great comedy films. I'm happy to say Tag is definitely one of them. It's a very fun film overall. It's definitely some of the most fun I've had watching any comedy this year. The guys work very well together. It has some very memorable gags for sure. It has some really great characters. It does sometimes get hampered a bit by some unnecessary subplots and like I said, Jeremy Renner's character does go a little too far at points, but overall, it's very enjoyable. It's much better than it had any right to be for sure, and I'm definitely going to give Tag overall a B. But overall, guys, in my review of Tag, let me know what you guys thought from overall. Love your thoughts. And like I said, this was a much better comedy than I was expecting it to be. Between this and Game Night and Blockers, this is turning out to be a very solid year for comedies, and... Honestly, amen to that, especially coming off the heels of last year, how awful it really was. This is definitely a very good turnaround, and I really do hope it continues. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.